and I can shoot whatever I just want. Because that's actually what I think is in games one of the most important facts, how you want your player to feel like when he's playing it. Hello there, Fancy here and time to some changes I would say. Well because as many of you probably I'm stuck in quarantine, I've decided to change stuff a little bit on this channel. And to make it a little bit more interesting I have decided to make it quite a challenge for myself and possibly for you. Every single week I will make one game, one separate playable possibly even good game. A challenge is it for you simply because you will have to play it. Um, well, you don't have to, but you can challenge yourself too. I would highly recommend you to do that. I will make a video from every single day I will work on that game, which means Monday, Tuesday, um, just these five days of the week. And don't make me name them, because I am not sure how to say them even in my native language. So that brings us to these, this, ah, that brings us to this week's game. And that should be, as you can guess from this uh, weird picture, that's definitely photoshopped as I'm looking at it right now. It will be VR survival shooter. Nothing complex. I know most of you probably doesn't have a VR headset, but I will make it playable even without VR headsets, uh, even though it wasn't, it wouldn't be that funny and then the, that fun to watch you when you are playing that, <laughs> I suppose. But uh, you will be able to play that game even when you don't have VR headset. Uh, main platform I'm aiming at is of course Oculus Quest because wireless, you know. <laughs> but as I said, it will be playable on any VR headset, etc, etc, etc. It will be for free, of course. You can play it however and whenever you want for completely free. Okay, that's about it. I guess I will get developing and we will see in a few minutes what I have come up with. I'm back after some work. So what I have done is to create a bit of a mood board because I wanna remember what kind of mood I wanna this game to tell the player. Because that's actually what I think is in games one of the most important facts, how you want your player to feel like when he's playing it. I know this is uh, kind of like artist approach, but I believe it to be quite effective, at least for me. So I found these. I actually add a, added a few stormtrooper zombies stuff, which I definitely won't have time for. But if there was any chance that I had some spare time, I would recreate something like a st stormtrooper zombie mode, something like that, because I believe that would be freaking awesome. I would play that myself. So maybe, I'm not saying it won't. And most important thing, I have created this Trello board. I have actually thought about what I need to do in each day to make it by Friday so I can release the game for ya. And for me, because I wanna play it too, I can't already wait. So I have written kind of weird game design document, don't ever show it to any game designer because he would probably like shot me. That player is standing and cannot move. I'm actually thinking about how to make it so it doesn't look that weird like he's standing and cannot move. Why? I'm thinking about making it go from a game. Um, what I mean by that is that he may be tied down or something like that, even though I don't know how he would be able to shoot then. Doesn't matter. Some I need to figure out something like that. Hopefully it will work. Okay, next one is that slowly from all sides there will be zombies coming to him or monsters and only hit to head will kill them. Uh, important fact is that uh, he can reload, he has to reload after a few shots every time, which means it could it sort of add realism and it will add a fear to the player because he knows that he can't uh, endlessly shoot, 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 shoot. Okay, uh, lighting is, I believe, what will create most of the atmosphere. I will try to use fog as well, because firstly it will increase the performance, hopefully, and secondly, fog always adds to that uh, something, always, like, fox always adds to horror atmosphere. Then he will probably be able to use torch, because there will be a really spare lighting, a really little bit of lighting, so he can see around himself, so he will be able to use one hand to... Uh, at use torch and aim at some, I don't know, just light what is in front of him. And uh, the important thing will be sound. That's uh, what this game will be based on, because ever uh, there will be some background music, hopefully, I'm already talking with my friend about that, and some zombies will be will create sounds when they, are well upper, they will be closing to him. Okay, it's a simple survival. He cannot win. You cannot win this game. Sorry, guys. Goal is to kill as many pa zombies as possible. And I believe that, uh, firstly, your goal is to probably get scared if you are playing something like that. And second, uh, 
Yeah, must be masochist as me, I suppose. And uh, okay, not, not important. Second goal is uh, the main goal is to get as high score as possible, which means kill as many zombies as you can. Uh, Thursday will be mostly testing it and optimizing it and making sure that it works on Oculus Quest because that's what I will be testing it on. And you know, if it works on Oculus Quest, it will works on any low end computer you can possibly have. And by Friday, I will optimize it, release Bacon Lighting, because that will probably take some time. And think again about Star Wars mode. You know, it's still in the question. We will see. <laughs> okay, this was it. So let's get to prototyping gun system. Ooh. So I'm starting the project and I have decided to call it Survivor. Like V and R. Like VR. Got it, right? It, it does, it's not as stupid as it sounds, right? Right, guys? Okay, another progress. Now we are finally in Unreal Engine. So, what is necessary to do is to test it with... Ah, now we can see it. Oculus Quest. So, let me... Okay, I need to enable it, sorry, before we are going to test it. So, let's show... Let me show you in VR preview. It will load quickly. I will take my controller and now narrate this some professional let's play. Okay, now we can see that I can actually teleport, but... Don't be afraid, I will get rid of this ability, because I don't think it's actually useful for this game. So, now, as you can see that there are some stuff that I can jump, I can throw around, jump with it, and all the funny stuff. Why did I say jump with it? It doesn't matter. Most important, I have imported this gun, which you can do, and you can see that the grip looks freaking terrible. You don't want to hold your gun like that, not that it would be possible, actually. Uh, that's something I will have to take care of. So only thing I can do with that gun now is to smash some things with it. <laughs> that's like the only funny thing. Oh, damn, sorry. Sorry about that, that I just hit microphone. I was, while I was smashing this stuff. So you have probably really heard me smashing something. <laughs> I had to change a few models and stuff and stuff. And now I'm going to show you what and how it looks like. And you can see that it's holding quite nicely. No, this is actually previous project. I haven't managed to make what I want to in uh, the main project that I'm creating this game in. Uh, I will rework it this night, tonight. So I can just quickly show you how ex how it should work. You have ha your hand just like that. One is lying like that because my other control is without the battery, and I can shoot whatever I just want. You probably won't be shooting these white bullets because you are not playing airsoft, but killing zombies, so I will rework that as well. Even though I kind of like the revolver, maybe I will put it in game. Problem is that it's quite high poly for low end mobile game. And you can see that. Oh, damn. You just need to hit it. Uh, Unreal has sometimes problem with uh, velocity if it's too fast, as I have noticed. It can have problem with reacting. But it shouldn't be a problem if uh, I'm from a little bit further. Seems like it works just nice. I just need to add some collisions, etc, etc, etc. You can throw away your weapon, which you won't be able in the game, because I will attach it to your head. Hand. Not a head, but your hand. That's about everything I wanted to say for this first video of the week. Wait for tomorrow video where you can see another progress of this game and that's about it. Uh, if you want, uh, yeah, if you want to have you, if you want to have news as fast as possible, go to Discord or Instagram. I will post there quite frequently through the day. But uh, tomorrow you can see, you will be able to see new video because it will be up. See so, ya. Yeah, I'm going to edit. Fancy out.